A new SSD form factor has stepped into the market that could have the potential to revolutionize data center storage solutions. Want to know more? Watch this video for a deeper understanding of just how that might happen. I'm Jenny from Server Factory, and today we will be taking a look at EDSFS technology and whether it is suitable or not for replacing current gen SSD form factors. Let's get to it! For many years, both the M.2 and 2.5 inch SSD have ruled the roost when it comes to storage form factors. Although, as we transition into the PCIe Gen 5 era, it's become clear that a transition to a future proof form factor is due. That's where EDSFS steps in. It stands for Enterprise and Data Center SSD Form Factor and, clue in the name, is designed from the ground up for data center applications. With three distinct variants, E1.S, E1.L, and E3, this form factor really does cover all bases. Firstly, let's take a look at the smallest variant, the E1.S. Undoubtedly, the most popular form the goal of the E1.S drive is to replace data center use cases of the classic M.2 and already solves a range of the distinct issues. For starters, thermals and cooling was a major setback, and thus the E1.S solves this issue by incorporating mounting holes for five different thickness options of heat sink or heat spreader, giving the flexibility to balance cooling efficiency and space. As a result, even with the greater 12 volt power supply, the E1.S provides much improved thermal performance with an easily adjustable solution depending on your needs. The improved cooling options and power management allow the E1.S to break through the low M.2 scalability of 2TB as a result of the performance limitations. A major downside of the M.2 was that it couldn't be hot swapped and therefore wasn't entirely suitable for enterprise use. But now, finally, with the E1.S, you can hot swap to your heart's desire. As a result of these improvements, E1.S looks to be a future-proof replacement for M.2 drives, with support for X4 and X8 PCIe lanes, with Gen 5 and plans to support Gen 6 when it is released. Let's look at the second member of the EDSFF trifecta, the E1.L, which was formerly known as the Ruler Form Factor. You can understand why. E1.L solves the thermal issue of U.2 storage by spreading the hot components out over a long PCB and allowing for two thickness options of metal enclosure for heat dispersion. Subsequently, the E1.L requires 55% less airflow in comparison to its predecessor, the U.2, and significantly reduces power costs. When optimized for maximum storage, a single 1U server utilizing only E1.L can reach 1 PB capacity. It is the densest NAND flash form factor we've seen whilst still having a low total cost of ownership. Our final member of the EDSFF family is the E3 form factor. Dimensionally similar to a U.2 drive, E3 can be effortlessly transitioned into from current U.2 use cases. While similar looking, the performance ceiling far exceeds that of current 2.5 inch drives, allowing up to X16 PCI E lanes and 70 watt power. It is worth mentioning that the E3 is optimized for 1U and 2U servers, coming in four different types of form factors, E3.L, E3.S, with two width options for each, 1T being known as single width and 2T being recognized as double width. The double width variant is optimized for high powered devices with greater heat generation. The E3's flexibility extends further than just its performance attributes. The enclosure can fit an E1.S PCB if costs need to be kept low. The future is looking hopeful, with many large drive manufacturers beginning to adopt EDSFS. 
Its capability at meeting enterprise needs for high density and capacity storage whilst breaking down power and thermal barriers effectively names it the logical successor to M.2 and 2.5 inch form factors. That being said, EDSFF has specific backplane requirements which aren't common on current systems. Server chassis must be redesigned to accommodate for this new form factor. Supermicro has this covered for any E1 and E3 EDSFS solutions. Simply get in contact with our sales team for free advice. What do you think about this emerging form factor? Will EDSFF become the de facto standard for data center storage? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video or found it useful in any way, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to be informed when we next upload. As always, thanks for watching and see you in our next video.